Asgard's Wrath is not a standalone Quest 2 game. You need a gaming PC to play it, and a way to stream the game from your PC to your Quest 2. You can purchase Asgard's Wrath on the Oculus Desktop Store. I created this diagram to show how it works. The main question you need to ask yourself is do you have a gaming PC? If yes, then you can choose between wireless and wired. Wireless streams the game over Wi-Fi from your computer to your Quest 2. It involves roughly being in the same room as your router and having your gaming PC plugged into your router via Ethernet. This is not absolutely necessary, but I find not doing this detracts significantly from the experience. There is no noticeable delay and every person I've spoken to that uses wireless recommends it over Link every single time. Airlink is Oculus's free PC to Quest 2 streaming client. This is my recommended way to play. A virtual desktop is the same as Airlink, but just costs money. ALVR is an open source free PC to Quest 2 streaming client. When it comes to being wired, your only option is Oculus Link, which involves plugging in a cable from your headset to your PC. You don't need the official Oculus Link cable, you can use any USB 3 to USB-C cable as long as it can transfer enough data. If you don't have a gaming PC, pretty much your only option is to rent a cloud PC. It involves paying for a computer in the cloud and then streaming to your Quest 2. There are many services to do this. Plutosphere involves buying tokens and paying by the hour. Plutosphere is very easy to set up. Azure involves renting a computer from Microsoft's cloud service. If you have a student email, you can rent a powerful computer on a free trial. Shadow PC is similar to both. There are many other services for cloud VR gaming, but these are just some of the most common. I'll leave a link below on a good video on how to set each one up. Apparently the lag isn't great, but without a gaming PC, it's your only option and definitely worth a shot. When it comes to the controllers, once you connect to a gaming PC, they work like they normally would on a PC VR headset. It works by grouping your last three fingers together, and then your index finger by itself, and then your thumb by itself. The capacitive touch sensors work amazing on the controllers as well. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. If you have any questions, let me know. I reply to every single comment.